Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I have put together a small presentation to show you exactly how efficient the new compiler is in RPCS3, the PlayStation 3 emulator. So what I have done is I have taken the exact same segment of gameplay using the old compiler and the new compiler and I have matched up exactly its start and end point so both scenes will start and end at the exact same time in the exact same video sequence. What I hope to show you with this video is exactly how stutter free your experience is going to be when you use this new asynchronous compiler in comparison to the old compiler which we previously had only a few weeks ago. What this means is, in the right hand side of the screen, in this new compiler footage, you are seeing that the gameplay is super smooth whereas in the left hand one it is stuttering and pausing all the time due to shader cache compilation. This shader compilation is exactly what a new player will experience every time he or she plays a new game on RPCS3 and has not played that game ever before. You can clearly see that in Persona 5 at least, even though we are getting slight texture pop in using this new compiler, it is 100 times better than the previous method of shader cache compilation when we were using the old version of this compiler. I myself would 100% prefer to have this texture pop in and a very smooth gameplay experience at all times in comparison to the old compiler's shader cache stutter. Let's take another game as an example. In Demon's Souls on RPCS3, you can see that in the left hand side of our screen, we are getting an absolutely almost unplayable amount of shader cache stutter when we enter this Boletarian Palace for the very first time. In comparison, on the right hand side of the screen, you can see that we are getting a 100% smooth experience at all times. Please do remember that the game is not slowed down like this at all, it runs at an absolutely perfect locked 30fps in both of these situations. The only reason we have slowed down in the right hand screen is due to the fact that I have slowed down the footage so I can sync up the start and end of each gameplay clip that I am testing. Let's jump across to a game that, in the RPCS3 community at least, is synonymous with having absolutely tons of shader cache compilation stutter, Asura's Wrath. In this left hand screen, you can already see that we are getting absolute tons of shader cache compilation stutter. In our right hand screen, once again, we are getting absolutely no stutter and we are getting the expected texture pop in that comes with this new asynchronous compiler. Moving across into some gameplay in Asura's Wrath, you can once again see the massive differences that this new compiler is making to the gameplay experience. One of the biggest complaints from the RPCS3 community, especially in this game title, was the fact that this game is practically unplayable the very first time you play through it. By utilizing this new asynchronous compiler, you can have a very smooth gameplay experience while playing through any of your game titles for the very first time and compiling your shader cache from the start. So hopefully this video has shown you exactly how awesome this new compiler is for RPCS3, this PlayStation 3 emulator. Once again, cheers for checking out the video, remember to like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, and as always, subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.